Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Coachman Spirit model 2659BH. This is probably, I think, my favorite bunkhouse I've seen. It's so unique and it has so much storage in it. Um, you're really going to like this one, I think. It comes in at 31 feet 8 inches in overall length and is 6,178 pounds as we see it here today. Let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside and take a look at some of the awesome changes and features on this bunkhouse travel trailer. And the thing that really impresses me about this floor plan is it's so unconventional, but it works. What I mean by that is you get a lot of things that a couple's unit has to offer, but also it has extra sleeping space. So as we step into the living area, you'll notice a nice trifold sleeper sofa in the slide out there. And that'll come out into, and make a extra bed. Uh, and in point of technicality, you can get this with theater seats. But because of this dining bar thing that we'll take a look at here in a little bit, it really makes sense to have the trifold sofa just in case you have extra guests or uh, things of that sort that uh, won't fit in the bunks. Nice big windows on the sides of the slide out here. They all open for ventilation and you can see they have the pleated blackout shades and they are a dark color which is really going to help uh, black out this trailer if you need it to. Nice extra counter space there and you'll notice you do have kind of a little netted storage pocket as well as a 110 outlet which is pretty cool. As we spin back around We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the entertainment center here first. So as you can see, this does have a pretty nice sized TV uh, right there. And that is directly across from the sofa. It is on a swing arm mount, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But also, you do have an AM, FM, and Bluetooth player right here. That does have HDMI and USB ports in there as well and you have a wireless phone charger with a couple of USB ports uh, right there which is a pretty neat feature. This does have the 15,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner. That is a upgrade. The standard is a 13,500 BTU and you'll also notice the nice arched roof and what that's going to do is it's going to give you more headroom. This actually has a taller slide or a sidewall as well. So it's a six foot nine sidewall instead of a common six and a half foot sidewall, which is going to give you bigger space in the bunks, a bigger shower or bigger space in the shower and things of that sort. So over here across from the sofa with a nice big window overlooking your campsite, you notice this unconventional but really cool dining area and this kind of acts as more countertop space for the kitchen too but you'll notice you have four stools um, plenty of room to set the family down um, which is really neat if you're looking for a U dinette this may not be the floor plan for you but it still is really cool and I think this is gonna appeal to a lot of people this also does have cabinet ducted heating which is great in a bunkhouse because the kids, as you and I both know, are going to spill stuff on the floor uh, so it's not going to get in the floor ducted heating vents, which is, again, a nice feature in a bunkhouse. All right, guys, let's go ahead and real quick, we'll look at the kitchen with it, everything closed up. So again, it's kind of an unconventional kitchen arrangement. It still works because of the, again, because of the dinette area. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the storage in this living and kitchen area of this Spirit Ultralight. 
Okay guys, so I've got all the storage opened up here and this really does have a deceptive amount of storage and kitchen space. So up top over here, you'll notice great overheads. Uh, these are pocket screwed cabinetry, so uh, when you're out feeling around at the competition, make sure and feel back behind your cabinet styles and see if they're stapled or um, screwed and glued together. Nice easy reach appliance outlets. New darker countertops, absolutely love these. And you can see that nice split bowl sink with the high rise faucet. You also are going to have the sink cover storage. This is a really cool feature that they do uh, just to get your sink covers out of the way when you're not using them. And I really like these glass inserts on the cabinets. They're You, you can still kind of see through them, but they're also you know dark enough where you're not going to see everything that's in uh, your overhead cabinets. As we come down underneath the countertop area, you notice three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guide drawers and some nice extra uh, pots and pans storage down there. That's just a great space to be able to put some of your bigger items. You do have a three burner cooktop. I have it folded, uh, the stove cover folded back partially. It will go all the way up as you can see right there to get to expose the three burners and you do have the lights here notice they're white not blue and then you do have an oven down here and you can see that there's a light in there as well as we come over here into the slide out you'll notice the couple extra bonus drawers underneath the fridge I love that that they didn't waste that space and then this does have another optional piece of equipment this is the Furion 12 volt compressor fridge. It'll work off of your tow vehicle when you're going down the road. It also will work off of a solar panel. So if you decide to uh, get a portable solar panel, you can do that. And it's notice how deep that is. So this is bigger than the standard six cubic foot fridge that they offer um, in these. So again, there's that freezer huge amount of storage in there. Um, we like to equip these anywhere, anywhere we can. And then underneath that countertop I was telling you about earlier, you have a good chunk of extra space just for whatever you want to put in there. And if that was all the kitchen storage, you think, okay, that, that's lacking a little bit. But wait, there's more. So as you can see underneath the dinette area, you'll have a good chunk of extra storage underneath the foot rests. The other side will uh, do that as well. And then you have these two pull-out, I'm going to call them pull-out pantries, but really they're pull-out drawers, which is really cool, really unique. It's something that I like that they did. And it's hidden behind a nice cabinet door. As we go up top here, you can see that you do have a ton of extra storage above that window. Man, that, that's a huge window. I really like that too. Um, but again, I really like this. Uh, just really a great space to be able to store some of the extra things and items. And you will notice down there you do have a power outlet. So if you're going to plug in anything at the, the bar, you can do that as well. As we come over here into the entertainment center, you'll notice above the TV, great extra storage, and that's nice and deep. And there's even storage back behind the TV, as you can see right there, and there is some on the other side as well. I just have the one opened. And then as we drop down the TV, or below the TV, this will kind of be your main pantry, if you want to call it that, and notice how deep that is. It's just great extra storage. and. I tell you, Coachman, they they do the best storage I think I've seen in any bumper pull or fifth wheel. And as you can see, there's a that TV will come out, and it is on, on a swing arm mount, so you can face it more towards the sofa or the dinette or the bunks or wherever. And then as we come back over here, you will notice even more storage. 
Now this I think you're going to most likely use for kids clothes, but it is a great extra feature and you'll notice that extra little bonus drawer back there too. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen and living area. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'd really like your feedback on this floor plan features. It's a new floor plan for us. We've carried the spirit for several months, but what do you think? Are we building this right? Are we building it wrong? Um, we don't build what we like or build it the way we like. We like to hear from you, the customers or the potential customers. Um, so if you could do me a favor, leave me some feedback. Let me know one thing that you'd like to see different. Let me know some things that you like. And, uh, that really helps us order and build the best products or ha stock the best products that, uh, the, that you as the customer would prefer to look at and potentially own. All right, guys, let's take a look at the bunks real quick. All right, guys, so now that we've got all the storage closed up, let's take a look at these bunks. So as you can see, these are a nice double over double bunk bed. You'll notice window up top here, as well as household, USB ports, a nice little shelf, and uh, the kids get their own light. And as you can see down here, this is mirrored for the top and the bottom. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> and these are the nice teddy bear bunk mats. So they're nice and thick, nice and comfortable. And we'll take a look at the extra storage when we move on to the outside because this bottom bunk what it'll do is it'll flip up to give you sp space to put the kids bikes or a kayak or something down underneath there um, I'll let you see it like this real quick so as you can see I've got the TV box down there just to give you an idea of scope and scale uh, so it's a really big space you can even put a dog bed underneath there but I'll show you here in a little bit you don't have to there's another place for that and then they do something kind of that I something that I really like they give you split curtains for the top and the bottom so that way the kids aren't fighting over whether they want the curtains closed or open they can do what they prefer which is a nice feature all right guys um, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the bathroom and take a look at some of the cool features there all right guys, so I've got all the storage and stuff open up in the bathroom. So as you can see, you have a foot flush lever toilet, tub shower, you'll notice the ABS shower surround, and you do have a nice skylight up there. Um, you can be upwards of 6'4 or 6'5 and still shower in this, in this trailer comfortably. You also do have the fan here, and I forgot to mention there is one in the kitchen. And something else that I forgot to mention is this does have dual AC runs and you can turn and close any one of these vents, which is a feature that not uh, every single one of them is going to do, um, which is pretty nice. A lot of people really like that. But as we step inside here, again, pardon any camera work that is a little <laughs> terrible, you can see the nice medicine cabinet that does have a mirror on it, as you can see there. Light switch for the overhead light, GFI protected outlet, nice countertop space, and you do have a big sink. And then down here, as you can see, you do have a great amount of storage space for a trash can. And then this little guy right here is a motion sensor light. So whenever you walk in, that's gonna turn on, which is a pretty neat feature. And then over here, they just give you some towel hooks, just, you know, little touches like that, I always really like. Okay guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bedroom now. Alright guys, so real quick before we get into the master bedroom, I do want to talk about the control panel. So it's right inside the door, it's up out of the way so the little kids can't get to it. But you'll see you have your slide out and awning controls, some lighting controls, your water pump, water heater on gas and water heater on electric, and your tank monitoring panel. So that way you can check all your levels, basically do anything mechanical for on this camper right here inside the door, which is really nice. You do have a sliding pocket door to separate off the bedroom 
from the rest of the camper and you will have a 60 by 80 queen bed overhead storage as you can see there I uh, just have half of it opened up today and then down here as you can see you do have a nice hanging rack in there uh, I'm not sure you can see that but uh, in there's a hanging rack nice side stands on both sides of the bed and you can see you have 110 power and USB ports and you'll have the same thing on the other side over here you do have a spot to mount a TV up in that corner which is a nice feature cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed and I love the fact that they give you that little shelf up there as well as that light switch is for the overhead lights but really the best feature on this bedroom is the under bed storage so as you can see that's an easy lift bed it's on struts but as we look down you notice there's a motion sensor light down there a laundry hamper four drawers I'll go ahead and open up one of those for you so they're nice uh, large drawers on both sides of what they call their max bed storage you can see that there's a little lip that goes back here and same thing on this side perfect for some of your folded clothes or sheets or towels or whatever up in here you have nice cubby hole storage on this side netted storage right there underneath that motion sensor light and then they give you a little place to sit down put on your boots or shoes um, or you can use that as a small dog bed but you could really put a dog bed down here if you wanted to as well and you'll notice a second motion sensor light in here that will kick on when you walk into the door and then up here they do give you a vent in the bedroom you can order this with 50 amp service and second AC prep um, this particular one does not have that but you could order that if you wanted to all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the interior of this 2659 spirit let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the outside and take a look at some of the features and new changes there all right guys so we're on the outside of this brand new 2659 bh coachman spirit so as you can see it is a fiberglass unit nice three-quarter fiberglass front cap up here and you'll notice you do have the led accent lights so we come down here, you'll notice a power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks, as well as rails for your battery and a battery disconnect, which is a brand new feature for these guys. So we come over here, you will notice the other side of your pass through. We'll take a look at that from the other side, but you do have your fresh water connection right here. So uh, if you're gonna do some boondocking, that's where you fill up your fresh tank. And then right down here, you'll notice a uh, your dump valves. And right above that, you do have your water heater. That is a six gallon gas electric water heater. Back of your fridge right here, sorry, it gets a little tight. But you can see that you do have a single slide out. That is a rack and pinion style slide out. And then right here, you have all of your hookups. So you've got your city water, your black tank flush, um, a nice little spray port right here, and I'll show you where the hose for that is here in a little bit, cable and satellite, as well as your 30 amp detachable power cord, which is a nice feature. And then you do have a second set of dumps back here. Uh, this does have a split gray tank. Coming over here, you'll notice a nice dog leash clip, as well as the uh, bumper for your stinky slinky and if we look up top here you'll notice backup camera prep and a nice arched roof and then in here behind this door you do have a nice I'm gonna call it bike garage that's probably not the technical term for it uh, you can see a heat vent right there but uh, this TV box here gives you a nice sense of scope and scale um, for putting extra items in here so that's a really cool feature and don't worry that is deadbolt privacy 
uh, locked. So it'll be kind of hard for the kids to figure that out, I'm pretty sure. Extra dog leash clip on this side, as you can see right there by that uh, marked or light. And then this does have the outside kitchen. So as you can see, you do have a two burner cooktop. Let me open that up real quick, show you what that looks like. There's that. Nice little sink with hot and cold water. It is a dump sink, um, which is okay. I prefer the one that drains into a holding tank, but I see why they did it. You notice a light in there, extra little shelf, and then there is power back up in there behind the dorm style mini fridge. And then you get a little extra pocket back in here that they could open up, which is a pretty nice feature. Coming over here, you'll notice cable uh, cable outlet as well as 110 power right there. There's the back of your furnace. And you'll also notice this has the wide stance axles. So what that's going to do for you is it's going to prevent some of the porpoising as you go down the road. And it also lowers the center of gravity and helps distribute the weight more evenly. Up above that window, as you can see right there, you do have uh, exterior speakers. And as we back up, you'll notice a very generous power awning. And that does have LED lights in it, as you can see right there. As we come over here, you'll notice the Lippert component solid step. So that'll fold up inside the door and it's rated for more weight. It's a fully adjustable or has fully adjustable feet. Just an all around great step. And then you do have the nice entry assist handle. Coachman is a product that uses the Asdell onboard si uh, system. What that's going to do for you is it gives you a waterproof side wall, mold proof and mildew proof as well. It's lighter weight, has uh, double the insulation value of Luon, which is wood in case you're not familiar with that. It's certified green as you can see. So basically it's not going to uh, off gas the formaldehyde smell. And uh, it has a sound deadening quality built into it. And as you can see, this is an all Aluma cage construction. So basically what that means is all of your windows and doors and any opening on the trailer is gonna be framed or backed with aluminum. As we come up here, you'll notice a side mount solar prep four corner stabilizer jacks they are manual and this does have oops let me get a better angle at it a fully enclosed and heated underbelly as you can see right there which is a really nice feature a lot of people really like that um, this gives you great extended season camp uh, capability and then up in here you do have your pass-through storage so as you can see, you have a pretty good amount of storage, aluminum bed base. With that max bed storage on the inside, it does take up a little bit of your storage. You're gonna have the fishing pole storage up there, which is something that is unique to Spirit. Motion sensor light on this side. This is for those docking lights. And then they give you a nice three quarters inch drill bit to stick in your cordless drill so you can run those uh, stabilizer jacks. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Coachman Spirit model 2659 BH. If you're interested in this trailer and you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you would like pricing and availability, you can put those questions down in the comment section below. You can also give me an email at contact at custom-rv.com or you can get a hold of me by telephone at area code 806-335-2336. Couple quick housekeeping notes. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. That will keep you up to date on all of our new content that we have coming out for you. Again, guys, we thank you very much for taking the time to watch this unit review. We hope you found it informative and that you enjoyed it. 
and we hope you're staying safe out there and have a wonderful rest of your day.